Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker and today is day 58 of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos and focusing on today, so yay. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm off-centered here. There we go. Um, anyway, <laughs> I did too much today, but it was, it was not much, but it was too much, which is weird. Anyway, <laughs> I'm trying today. I, um, I had to get up early this morning and I woke up before my alarm went off, which is annoying. So I decided to just go ahead and read my scriptures and meditationals and get ready for my day. And I was writing about what I was, um, you know, just praying like I normally do to see myself the way that God sees me or to know what it is that I need to know for today. And what I came up with was that I can do more than I've been doing. So it's okay to, you know, push myself to a little bit more, but um, at the same time, not to do too much, not to overdo it. So kind of the whole finding a balance thing. I am not sure if I succeeded that today or not. Um, I did not go to work, which I really wanted to. Um, but I did let myself take a nap. So that was good. I had a nice long nap. That was fabulous. I didn't want to wake up, but then I had stuff that I had to do. So I got up and I moved some furniture. Not big, heavy stuff, not a lot of stuff, mostly stuff I could just slide or that was easy to pick up and carry. Probably spent less than five minutes doing it, maybe, maybe 10, five, 10 minutes, whatever. But I feel like I totally exhausted all of my energy doing that. And I was like, oh man, that just sucks. Something simple, again, just completely drains me of my energy. But I did it because I was trying to make room in the other room for the piano that I'm going to get. Um, I still need to get it moved into the other room. And I did that today because there were some people who were supposed to come help me do that today and they're not coming until tomorrow. So I'm like, yay, well now it's done today. And then I decided I really wanted some spaghetti and I had some ground beef and some corn that I could put in some spaghetti and make spaghetti. But I had to rest for like two or three hours after doing the whole moving stuff around in my room. And I still felt totally drained, like no energy. And I said, I don't care, I'm making spaghetti. So I stood in my kitchen for like 20 minutes and washed out the pans and the plates and stuff that I needed to make spaghetti. And I made spaghetti. And sadly, just <laughs> to show like, I don't know, it's a terrible thing, but it's somewhat hilarious, I don't know. But my lack of strength, I could not even open the jar of spaghetti sauce. I. <laughs> I had three different ones and I could not open any of them and they all have like plastic lids it's not like they're even hard to grip or anything like that and I I could not open them so <laughs> I actually stabbed one of them with a knife um I was like okay I give up so I just kind of stabbed it with a knife and I just kind of cut part of it with the knife because I couldn't get it to open so I cut the lid and I only was able to cut like part of it I couldn't even cut the whole lid off I was like oh man but I cut up enough that I could pour the spaghetti sauce out and make the spaghetti <laughs> there's your entertainment for today <laughs> my entertainment for tonight there's a will there's a way right <laughs> you can do it doesn't matter um so I didn't have the the strength to open it so I I stabbed it <laughs> it worked um, anyway, so I, I was able to make my spaghetti and then I crashed on my couch and I am trying to wake up enough to do this and to write in my journal so that I can go to bed. <laughs> but, um, I just, it's, I'm struggling to have energy. I, I literally feel like it was completely zapped by moving furniture today, but I didn't let that stop me. I didn't let that deter me from making my spaghetti that I wanted to do. And I did take out the trash this morning too. Forgot about that. So I'm like, yay. And I know these aren't big, huge things. Um, these are very simple daily little chores or tasks that used to be very simple and easy for me to do. But my energy has been so drained and getting myself to do little things, even when I'm tired, has been very difficult for me. So today... I feel like that was um, success, like huge success to take out my trash, to make the spaghetti that I wanted to, and to rearrange <laughs> one of my bedrooms to uh, make room for a piano. Um, not really sure how it's going to get in there tomorrow. I didn't hope that there's room enough for it to fit, but I, I rearranged the room. So um, I, I did that. And I know, again, that's, 
I, I'm just grateful that I was able to do all of those things because um, it's it's amazing. I think I was talking to my friend when I was giving a ride home last night that it's amazing how much more we appreciate things when we've lost the ability to do things. It's that that saying. It's like you never really appreciate appreciate what you have until you've lost it. And um, I really appreciate being able to take out the trash and moving some furniture, doing a little bit of dishes. And no, it, it's not the all the things that I want to do because I don't have the energy to do that. But yes, I can push myself a little bit even when I feel really tired. And I did that today. I proved that today. And I'm, I'm grateful that I was able to do that today. Um, so it, it makes me feel like I've accomplished something today. I feel accomplished. I feel good. I feel, um, I feel good. <laughs> I really do. And I, I know I can look at it as um, being simple and silly things that I used to be able to do as it was a piece of cake. And now it's a struggle. But um, I accomplished it. And I'm grateful that I can look at those little things and see them as accomplishments instead of um, beating myself up thinking I should be able to do this and like, a whole bunch more because I used to be able to. So I'm not comparing today, which is amazing. And I'm grateful for the things that I'm doing and pushing just a little bit, even when I'm tired and feeling like I've accomplished something, even though I didn't, you know, go to work and make money or <laughs> I wasn't like big, huge things. It's all the little things that I've been talking about. If I just do the little things, then little things will get taken care of and eventually the big things will get done. So um, it just... I did a little bit of that today and I feel really good about myself for having done that little bit today. <laughs> it, it wasn't a lot, but it was more than I've done in a, a few days. And so I feel good about that. And I'm grateful that I can feel good about that, that I can be like, hey, I'm having a good day because I did a few things, even if I am still worn out from doing a few things. <laughs> you know, that, that that's frustrating to still be worn out, but I'm grateful that I can have a different perspective, a clearer perspective, and be grateful for the little things that I can do. And hopefully as I get more energy, I can do a few more things and maybe it will make me more appreciative of all the things that I can do <laughs> instead of um, the other way around and just beating myself up for what's not getting done or calling myself lazy for not doing all those things that I can do. So <laughs> anyway, I, I'm not beating myself up today and I'm grateful for that and I'm grateful that I could make food that is hopefully not burning on my stove again um, <laughs> and just um, grateful that I could move some furniture and um, do some little things today and even grateful that I let myself take a nap because that was really nice and I must have needed it because I slept for like three or four hours which was nice. Um, which is probably because I only slept for like four or five hours last night. But still, I let myself take a nap today and I'm grateful for that too. So I'm I'm just grateful for the little things that I'm, I'm learning how to do. I'm learning to just let myself do little things and accept that that's all I have the energy to do. And it's just okay. And I don't know how it's going to be okay, but it's just okay. So I'm, I'm extremely grateful for that and grateful for today. And... Um, that's all I have today. So if you like these videos, you find them entertaining, like my punching holes in spaghetti sauce, that's cool. You can hit like, subscribe, share with someone else if you think they'll like it too. And I hope you have a great day full of gratitude and maybe do some writing.